Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here for another Kavec review. And today I will show, show you two pens in just one video because they are the same, just with different metal finishes. So the pen that I'm reviewing today is the Caveco Sport Chocolate for Fontoplume. And this Caveco Sport Chocolate was made in two colors. So it was made in the classic, in the, sorry, in the skyline finish, which means it has silver trim or chrome trim and it was made also in the classic option, which means it has gold trim. But let's go back to it. So this edition is called Cavec Sport Chocolate. It is a special, an exclusive edition for Fonto Plumo, so this is not available anywhere else. And those these pens are engraved Caveco sport in one side and on the other side they have Fonto Plumo. I don't have it here with me because I don't know where I put it but these pens come, uh, they come inside these regular cardboard boxes, the black ones and they come with plastic sleeve and also with that little booklet with history of Caveco and also a sticker with the Caveco logo but I don't know where I have it now so I guess you already know it from other videos. So these pens have a very nice brown color which is not that common in Caveco but there are already a few. So let's go over some characteristics. First, general characteristics of Caveco pens. If you are already a Caveco fan, you already know this, but general characteristics of a Caveco Sport. They are short pocket pens with a cap that, that has eight facets, the top is rounded and it has the Caveco logo there in metal. Then they have Caveco Sport engraved in one of the eight facets and on the opposite side they have Fonto Plumo engraved in the same kind of um, filling, gold or uh, chrome. The barrel is kind of cylindrical, it has this knurled end there, it makes some noise and here you can see the made in Germany and then some dots, one has three dots, the other one has four, which I think is a quality control indicator so they can know which molding machine has made each pen. So the pen is cylindrical, it has a very slight step down there but it is mostly cylindrical, then it has a screw cap and the cap comes, oops, comes off with one one and a quarter turns, so not bad. And they have this hourglass shaped section. They have steel nibs. One has a steel nib in natural color, the other one has a steel nib with uh, gold plated. And then on the, the, the nib says the, has the date of Caveco Foundation and then it has the size of the nib and it has the Caveco, not focusing correctly, and then it has Caveco logo and also on the underside there on the feed I have there the... Today is not easy to show this, I think I'm losing my practice, okay. Focus. There you can see, there is the Caveco logo upside down on the um, feed. These pens have number 5 nibs, so the nibs are quite small. And then they take international short cartridges or the short Caveco converters. Even the one that has a plunger or the other one, which is kind of a 
a little rubber that you squeeze. And this is common to most Caveco sport, at least these ones. These two pens were sent to me by Fontoplumo and I thank you, you a lot, Fontoplumo, Frank, for sending me these pens. Uh, I, I really appreciate that. As I guess you all know, I'm a very active collector of Caveco pens, so I'm, I'm really happy for having these. So again, thank you Fontoplumo for these pens. And what I want to say more is that they, ha they have this brown color and they cost around 30 euros. At least that's the price within the European Union. Okay, these are the pens. Now, let's go for some comparisons because that's the fun part of it. Maybe you already know a lot about Caveco pens. So I have here several pens and I want to explain why I chose these. So, this is Fontoplumo exclusive, but they already had another exclusive before. Let me just increase the lighting here. They had this other exclusive, which is the Caveco Classic Sport Mocha. And it was called Mocha for Fontoplumo, but there was something strange about this, because it was uh, sold as Mocha to Fontoplumo and as Caramel for the store in Australia, which I can't remember now, the store that is now Milligram, it was not Maker, I think. So, it was, the, the color is the same, but this is another release from Fontoplumo. So, this is the Mocha from a couple of years ago, then they released this pen, and I think they are quite clever because they are making the pens in the two finishes, because they have to make a, a, a minimum order of pens, so maybe they ask Kavec that minimum order of the same color, but they ask half with each finish. That's good, because if you are a collector you want to get both, but if you are a user you can choose the one that you like the best. So, this is another exclusive edition for Fontoplumo, which was, which was this uh, Sunset and Sunrise. They are yellow pens. The Sunset was the gold trimmed one, so the, the classic sport. And the Sunrise was the chrome trim. And that makes some sense because, at least in my opinion, the colors of the sunset are warmer than the colors of the sunrise. Then they made also this other pen, which is a very interesting pen, in my opinion, for several reasons, because it is called Coral Edition. And I know that Caveco has also been experimenting some, some things, at this time, they didn't. Uh, it was not mandatory that the, there was the engraving of the store on the pen. Now it is, and for these ones, it was already mandatory, and also for this. So it is interesting. They chose this coral color, which is fun. But this pen, unlike these others, has this says on the Cavex Sport and Fontoplumo. This one says. Cavec Sport, but on the other side it says Coral by Fontoplumo, so it really says the name of the color. Another interesting thing in this kind of pink color, I'm not sure if I can show it well, it has this uh, chased pattern, which is called Yosh or Yoshe, and it is quite fun because it reminds us of older Caveco pens and there are some variations of this, some Caveco Sport by Diplomat from the 1990s, some have this kind of pattern, between the, this I'm talking among the modern pens, there was also, there was also uh, Guilloche Black and um, which was the other one, uh, Bordeaux or Burgundy. So, 
it's interesting to try to collect all these different variations and this is fun so they decided to go the same way also with a chrome trim and a gold trim and the final one has the same kind of colors these are the special editions or the exclusive editions for Fontoplume you can only get them there and these forget about them because you can no longer get them they are really really rare but if you go to Fontoplume website check their website that is called I need a pen it is kind of a brother website and on that website they have sometimes some quite difficult pens to, uh, some pens that are very difficult to find and that is nice because there may sometime come out some of these pens then we'll have some other pens that were made not by Fontopluma, so let me take this out, but I would say in the same color family. And let's start with it. The first one that I want to show is this one. This is the cream, it's called cream or creme also. It's called both, way, both ways and it is a classic sport. So gold trim, very, very light and warm color. It can look like white, but it is not white, but maybe like this it's better. It's very hard to show these colors. The next one that I want to show you is the Skyline Sport Macchiato, which is a regular line. I think it's still in production, but it has a cooler tone to it. There was also an exclusive edition for most wanted pens, the other store in Germany, in which they have this kind of regular macchiato color for the cap, but they are, they have gold trim. I hope you can see that. I'm having some trouble with focusing, but I hope you can see, and the barrel was black, and so gold trim. So this, this is kind of variation on the macchiato. The macchiato is also called cappuccino, however, this is something that happens in Europe, but in some moment, which I don't, I can't really find much information on that, this pen was also released. This is the real cappuccino, which, so the macchiato is a skyline sport, so chrome trim, the cappuccino is a classic sport, so gold trim, focus. Okay, so you can see they are different colors. These are cooler, this is cooler, this is warmer, and this is also much more, uh, much darker than the macchiato. Then we have the Caveco Art Sport, which is different because it is a resin, uh, like an acrylic, not the ABS plastic, which is the Caveco Art Sport Coffee and Milk very nice color it has gold trim but no uh, filling on the engraving however there is an engraving there that says caveco art sport germany so with gold trim so see the milk and coffee then there was the mocha that i told you about now the chocolate which is described as a milk chocolate color and before of that there was the chocolate or tabac because it was or tobacco because it was made for a store that's called tabac a chain of stores that makes uh, that sells um, tobacco products and so on but the color was called chocolate but i would say this is kind of a dark chocolate and it is kind of milk chocolate also gold trim this is a little harder to find but you can still find it it is very nice here it looks black but I'm not sure if i can compare it with this but it's it's not oops, it's not really black it is uh, okay it's better to compare here this you can see it's it's not very easy to see but it's not really black it looks almost looks like looks like black but it's not this is black this is dark brown and finally 
There was also this edition called Golden Espresso and it is a Caveco AL Sport. With gold trim, AL Sport means it's metal and it also has the blind engraving, which means it has an engraving with no filling with color there and it has a, also a steel gold plated nib very nice matte brown pen but here the golden espresso is not deep it's just like an imprint in gold so here you have the color variations i would put actually this one here but it's very hard to compare because the way they reflect light is very different from the plastic ones to the metal ones so this is these are the brown in this kind of colors you still have the art sport mambo and amber but they are really different they are not a single color they have some marbling on them now just for size comparisons i like always to compare the pen so i will put one here closed which will be easier i guess like this I will have the other one unkept and posted because this is the way you will use it and let's just compare them with my standard pens for size comparison which are the Parker Centennial Blue Fold this is the big red vintage this is how the color is made but it's not a vintage pen the color is made is called red vintage and then you have also these Terracotta Lamy Safari, which was last year's special edition. Maybe it can still be found on stores, not sure. But I don't have brown Safari or brown dual fold, so I decided to bring this. So you can see that the sport is much shorter than the other ones. These are, this is a pocket pen, those are regular, regular big pens. Now you can uncap the dual fold and you can uncap the lamy not post them because i would say they are they aren't meant to be posted any of those again cavex sport is short but when compared the cavex sport has a small nib more comparable with the lamy nib although the shape is different than with the dual fold nib which is much bigger and it is made of gold and the section is slimmer but not that much slim but the size of the pen is overall the same maybe the sport is even a little bigger it posts very securely very deeply and it becomes a very large it becomes a full-size pen and if you like to write to hold the pen here you can hold it you don't you don't need to hold it on the section so it's really nice again some other th thing that may be an advantage for some, not for me for sure, is the possibility of eyedroppering Kavec Sport pens because some people enjoy to do that stuff. I really, I really don't see the point. I don't like it, but that's just my opinion. So, this is the review of the pens. Let's just go for a writing sample and then we are done. So, here we have our pens and paper, and let's do it. The, both pens have fine nibs, they have different inks inside, but I will show that to you. So, we are talking about the review of the Caveco Sport Chocolate. Let's call these gold trim with a fine steel nib this one is the caveco sport chocolate with chrome trim with a fine steel nib so the nibs are comparable the inks are not exactly the same and the ink on sorry the ink inside the chrome trim pen is this one with this new nice bottle let me just show you like 
this this is the caramel brown caveco caramel brown ink which is quite nice it's dark and i have also here brown ink very dark maybe it will look almost black in video and on the other in the other pen we have in the gold trim we have the kwz oscar which is also an interesting brown ink but i would say it will be a better match so this ink is this one kwc ink oscar which is a Fontopluma exclusive also i think he still has this on the website and it's a very nice ink it smells great and it is a six milliliter box lot, uh, bottle it will last forever and it is kind of uh, an homage from Fontoplumo to the, the dog of let's call the official dog of the store so it is which is called who is called oscar so and it, ha it has the same color of the ink so it's it's fun to have it i would say that the oscar ink is more is a better match to the color of the pen than the Cavec caramel brown but both are good inks so what can i say i have to say that the performance of the pens are really good they don't skip you can try some line variation if you press harder but you are really forcing the pen when you do this this is how wet the nib is so the nib is quite wet but we have to say that this Fontoplumo ink the oscar ink is the kwz ink is also wet and then reverse writing no forget about it it's scratchy but i don't use it, i don't use it as a reverse also i don't mind the sensation of the nib on paper is great any feedback it writes perfectly so no skips no problem here is the chrome trim with the caramel caveco caramel brown and i will not post the pen to write with it and you can see you can write with it without posting but more comfortable when posted and let's do kind of the same thing also no flow issues you can still try some line variation if you press harder but because this ink is a little drier than that one you don't it's like if you don't have the same amount of flow of ink on the paper so the pen looks drier and you can see there is a, a smaller smear when you do that and you will find um, that the pen looks a little bit less smooth you can fi feel more feedback so but that's something that happens when you use inks that are more lubricated you find the ex writing experience more smooth if you're writing with a drier ink you'll find it drier but if but you have to see the advantages and disadvantages i'm writing in the i didn't write there but i'm using the usual rodeo.pad and the rodeo.pad is quite good so the paper holds on the ink very well but if you were using bad copy paper i would say that the caveco caramel brown would be a better choice because it is drier it would not spread so much on the paper but that will be even more true the if you use a medium or a broad or a double broad nib it all depends on your preferences so you always need to see how wet is the nib how good is the paper how lubricated is the ink and how thick is the line that you're choosing so there are some things here that need to be considered maybe maybe someday i could make a video about choosing a pen for you what you have to consider maybe i'll do that someday if you find it interesting let me just make a full qu quote here just to have a better writing i will start with the kwz so with the classic sport or maybe i'll do the 
No, maybe I'll change in the middle so you can see. So I'll write it and speed it so you can see how it works. Okay, I think this is enough. So you can see both nibs write well. I wouldn't say the nibs are different. I think the difference in the writing experience is just because of the the the, the, tip, the, the kind of ink. So I would say that these Chrome Trim Sport nib, Tavec nib has the regular amount of feedback, but this one seems smoother than the regular amount because it has a more lubricated ink, but just that. So the performance of the inks is great. I find the color very, very, very nice. A warm brown color really looks like milk chocolate. And I think this is all for today in this video. So now I just want to really thank you. Frank from Fontoplumo for sending me these two pens for review. A big thanks also to Caveco because Caveco is still making these collaborations and they are really very active in producing uh, pens and new models and new colors and new variations. And also I want to thank you all for keeping, keep coming to my channel to watch my videos and some of you that are also as crazy as I am about Caveco, don't forget to check my Caveco we uh, Madness website. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to meet you soon here on my channel again. So bye.